see lateral hop and stick, it means exactly that. We want to stick that landing. So we want to get the acceleration, but we also want to get the deceleration and the balance of it. Because, you know, it, it doesn't matter so much if you can get somewhere, if you can get where you need to be, but you're off balance, then you're not going to be in an effective position to make a save. So this is where we start. We get a nice knee bend. So we load that leg, then we're going to drive and we're going to hold that balance. And I'll put in your program how many seconds. You might be hold it for two or three or five seconds. But I'm staying in this loaded position, so I'm not up here where I have to drop and hop. I'm staying nice and low. And then I go and I decelerate. And I'm trying to get it so that there's no wiggle at all and that I'm keeping my good knee alignment. If you find your shoulders are outside, look where your knee is. My bet is your knee is inside. So bring your knee outside and then get your shoulders more centered because I can't effectively push laterally when my shoulders are behind. This may seem like a fairly easy exercise and I guess technically or maybe um, in terms of how strenuous it is, it is fairly easy, but technically I want to make sure we're getting it just right. So it's a double leg glute bridge. We're going to start off by bracing our abdominals so that our torso is kind of locked in. I want my hips and my rib cage to move at the same rate. So, and then I'm just going to push my feet into the floor and lift my to make a straight line from my knees to my hips to my shoulders. And I'm squeezing my glutes. I'm squeezing my bum cheeks the whole time I'm holding this um, exercise. So I'm thinking about um, my old ski coaches used to say, imagine you're trying to crack a walnut between your bum cheeks. So I'm kind of thinking that idea. I, my hamstrings will be turned on a little bit too because they're helpers, but I really want to emphasize feeling this in my glutes. And then you'll come straight down again. So it's not a roll up roll down. It's just a hinge at the hips, squeezing the glutes, holding for the required amount of time, back down to tap down. With a bungee, it's just a matter of finding the right resistance, but otherwise it's the exact same mechanics. For those of you training at home with the bungees, you'll just put that bungee underneath your knee, find a nice even spot, and then press straight overhead, just like if you had the dumbbells. And if you need a little more resistance, you can always put a little knot in your bungee or just go up on the handles. One of my favorite energy system development exercises is shuttle runs. Um, we're going to start this program with a 200 uh, meter shuttle run, excuse me, 200 yard shuttle run. Um, so you're going to measure out um, 25 yards. And if you can't get it exact, that's, that's okay. But ideally you would measure out 25 yards. Um, and then you'll set a cone at either end. And you are going to run there and back. So there and back is 50 yards. You're going to run there and back four times and that's what gives you the 200 yard for your shuttle run. I want you to record your time in seconds um, so that we can kind of monitor the fatigue index there. Um, the goal with the pro players and the, and the um, OHL level players is to get really all the players, <laughs> but <laughs> it's to get, um, we're going to build up to a 300 yard shuttle and we want to get that um, two repetitions, five minutes apart, both less than 60 seconds. So it's pretty tough to do, but that's our challenge. Um, we're just going to start off with the 200 meter shuttle or 200 yard shuttle metric system. <laughs>